The city of Albuquerque is looking for ideas on how to spend millions of dollars in neighborhoods that are identified as, quote, pockets of poverty. News 13's Ariana Kraft is live at 4th and Cole downtown with the story. The city has more than $6 million to invest into low-income neighborhoods like Borellas. The money will go towards things like fixing up rundown buildings and adding parks. Albuquerque's federally designated pocket of poverty is 11 square miles stretching from Los Gregos in the North Valley down to South Broadway and West Old Town to University Heights. The city is looking to dish out money from the Housing and Neighborhood Economic Development Fund to neighborhoods like Santa Barbara, Martinez Town. We have a historical significance here and we'd like to keep it, um, maintain it residential and um, so we're looking forward to using the pocket of poverty money for the neighborhood. The federal fund has been around since the 1980s. Albuquerque has more than $6 million right now. The city is working on a plan to distribute the money over a 10 year period. It's my department family community services job to administer this money right now. I think there's about $6.3 million in the fund um, and it has to be spent on housing and or economic development activities. The city is asking people living in these specific neighborhoods to fill out a survey identifying concerns like affordable housing, home maintenance costs, sidewalks and parks, and the needs of small businesses. There's a lot of people that just can't afford to fix their home, and so we want to make sure that happens. But we'd like to make sure that it's driven by the people, the residents that live here, and um, and it's not taken out of the pocket of poverty. Right now, it's unclear how the city will decide which neighborhoods will receive money and for what. That's one of the things that they have to decide uh, is, you know, how exactly are we going to dish this out? And so one of the questions on the survey asks, you know, do you think that these funds should benefit um, residents throughout the pocket of poverty or specific neighborhoods? Well, I'd like them to first start off with the neighborhoods that have the most needs. The Pocket of Poverty survey is still open until January 22nd. We have a link to it posted on KRQE.com. Back to you. All right, thank you, Ariana. This fund has paid for more than $18 million in projects in lower-income neighborhoods over the past 30 years.